Hey, Bart. Things are going great. I just got four more ranches. Not so loud. Do you want everybody in town to know what we're doing? Hey, those four pieces should net us about $10,000 profit from the railroad. The owners were scared stiff. Sold for practically nothing. That's just chicken feed. That $10,000 is only a small part of the money I'm after. Besides, we've got to get the hold of that Gray and Allen ranch. And that's going to be a tough job. Oh, I don't think so. Not by the way we've got them fighting one well, another. Well, it's taken too long. I got another letter from the railroad company today complaining about they think we're not delivering the land to them fast enough. And not only that, the longer we wait, the greater chance someone else will have of finding out what we're up to and cashing in on it themselves. You're right. Then you want me to go... I want you to turn on the heat. That's just what I wanted to hear. You know, I was afraid with you living at the Allens and seeing his daughter every day, you were going soft on us. I never mix business with pleasure. My stopping out there, no one would ever suspect that I'd have anything to do with that range war. Now listen, there's no use wasting a lot of time on conversation. What I want you to do is get out and show me some results. All right, things will start popping from now on. Treat your boss like that, and you can't treat your top hand like that neither. <laughs> What's 
the mail. mooning about. Another letter from your sweetheart on the old home range? Trouble, huh? Plenty. You're not going back to help that fire-eating father of yours out of this mess, are you? After all, he's my dad. And a fine one. Kicking you out just because you was in love with the daughter of the man he was fighting with. If they'd have been any real trouble, she'd have written you, wouldn't she? That's what bothers me. Match hasn't mentioned it in any of her letters. But the sheriff's got a level head and he's plenty worried. You couldn't drag me out of here with wild horses. You've made good on your own. You've got a nice spread. Besides, we'll take care of the place. Steve can run things while I'm gone. I reckon you come natural with your stubbornness. Take me 15 minutes to pack my war bags. Who said you were gone? Well, I did. Not because I want to. All right, Happy. But if things get tough, don't say I asked you to come along. Come on, Bob. Valley belongs to my dad and Madge's father. There ought to be plenty of room for him to live peaceful. That burn born we passed back yonder didn't look so peaceful. Well, accidents will happen. Yeah, so long as they don't happen to us. Quit looking for trouble. I ain't. But trouble's looking for us. I can feel it in my bones.
Bob. You. Sure. Aren't you glad to see me? Of course, but... It's all such a surprise. I heard of the trouble from the sheriff. Why didn't you write me about it? Why, I was so worried, I, I didn't know what to do. Who were those men who were chasing you? They were killers, hired by your father. Madge, this is my top hand. He's named Happy because he never is. Never had no reason to be. It's too late to begin now. I'll take you home. No. No, you mustn't. Oh, I don't think your dad will shoot me on sight. Anyway, I want to get his side of the trouble first. Well, all right. I don't know why you've come back, but if it's to help your father, he needs it. I'd like to help you both, Mr. Allen. What started this trouble? I found a fence cut and some cattle missing. Then your father's gunman burned one of my barns and tried to kill me. Why should he do that? Suppose you ask your father. I will, when I see him. So I had to fight back. Your father hired gunmen. I did, too. Now the gunmen are out of control, burning and looting. You hired them, why don't you fire them? I will, when that hard-headed father of yours does the same. Oh, this is Mr. Barton, a newcomer out here. This is Bob Gray. Hi, Barton. How are you, Mr. Gray? No relation to the enemy, I hope. You mean Tom Gray? He's my father. Oh, I'm sorry, but as Madge says, I'm just a stranger out here looking for some good investment property. From what I hear, values aren't holding up very well. Yes, that's an unfortunate situation. But when I first came out here, I didn't expect to land in the middle of a range war. You didn't. The trouble started after you got here. Well, you talk as if you blame me. If I thought that, I'd say it. I'm sure you would. Well, I have to be gone. Glad to have met you, Barton. Thank you. I'll be right back, Madge, as soon as I've seen Dad. I don't think it's wise for us to see each other so often, Bob. You know the way things are. But things are still the same with us, aren't they? Why, yes, of course. I'll have a try at stopping this trouble. Then I'll take you away from here. Who's the dude? He's no dude. He's a friend of Mr. Allen, out here on business. Huh, what makes him dress that way? Just to make old coyotes like you howl. Oh. More trouble. I knew I shouldn't have come. Anybody traveling that fast is up to some meanness. Let's find out.
you do. Get him up. Come on. Get him up. Get over there. Now get out of here. What's this all about? The sum of help? Get gone. And if I ever see you again, it'll be over a gun sight. Well, you might as well finish us here as turn us loose unarmed. Them hills are full of grazed men. Take out the shelf, Hap. Give them their guns when they get mounted. And in the future, you'll leave people alone who aren't mixed up in this range war. Thanks, stranger. My name is Pop Wilson. This is my daughter, Helen. We recently settled here to do a little horse trading. I'm pleased to meet you folks, and I'm sure glad we happened along. Who started this trouble, Mr. Wilson? Well, Gray and Allen both blame the other. So one of them must be wrong. It's hardest on us little fellows. We get caught in between both sides. The partner and I are gonna do something about this range war, or die a trying. You won't have to try. <laughs> Don't mind him, he can't help being that way. Guess we'll be drifting. Goodbye. Bye. Well, who do you think they are, Dad? I don't know. You didn't hear them introduce themselves, did you? Maybe they're undercover rangers. Well, I hope so, Helen. Any more scrap you reckon we'll have between here and your dad's ranch? Half, there won't be any, because we're here right now. Sure good to be on the home range again. I'll bet dad'll be glad to see me. You know, he's really proud I've made good, but he'd never tell me so. The sheriff wrote it in a letter. I'm beginning to feel better myself. Serves me right for turning soft. They're new men, Hap. Don't know who we are. Hold your fire, boys. I'm Bob Gray, Tom's son. Yeah, I'm Mrs. Clancy's little boy, Ronald. There's my dad now. Save the last shot for him. Howdy, Dad. Oh, it's you. 
Them hombres ring some of your men, Mr. Gray. They fired at us and we shot back. It's a fine note when you have to fight your way into your own home. I didn't ask either of you to come. Dad, this range war's got to stop. Fire these gunmen of yours before they ruin the whole valley. You can't tell me what to do. I'm fighting for a principle. And I don't care who gets hurt. I suppose Alan, that girl of his, sent you over here to work on me. What I've said is my own idea. Alan's just as wrong as you are. Don't you talk that way to me. I'm doing it. Didn't the trouble start when your men cut Alan's wire fence, ran off some of his stock, and burned a barn? We did not. Alan begun it when he dynamited the storage dam of mine, holding water for my stock. Now get out of here. You got your business to attend to? Well, take care of it. And let me run mine. I'll get out, all right. But not until I've shown you just how wrong you are. Come on, Hap. Your dad's a hard man. He's worried, Hap. With all this trouble, you can't blame him. What are you fellas sitting around like bumps on logs for? I'm paying you good salaries. Try and earn them. And the next fella throws lead at my boy is going to have his neck wrung by me. Personal. That's the two that tackled us at the nesters. Now's our chance to get even. What do you see? Somebody just pulled in behind those rocks. Since you ain't no friends, you keep going, Hap. I told you the next time I saw you, it'd be over a gun sight. Drop the hardware. You don't get it back this time. Let him go, Hap. Take these two armories to the sheriff. What are you going to do? I'm riding herd and the one who got away. Keep him up there. All right, get going. Get going.
on your mind, Dirk. Is there something wrong? Yeah. Two of our boys are in jail. In jail? What for? There's a couple of strangers in the valley. We bumped into them at Anessis. They got the drop on us and ran us off. And we ran into them later in Blue Canyon. We set a trap for them. One of them outsmarted us and caught two of our boys. I got away. And I don't think I was followed. What did this fellow look like? I don't know. He moved too fast for me to see. I wonder. Wonder what? Gray's son is back. I didn't know Gray had a son. Well, he has, and I don't want him meddling with our business. Well, what do you want me to do? Get busy and do something about it. Right. Lock him up, Sheriff. What's the charges? Turned if I know. You'll have to ask Bob Gray when he gets here. If he does. Is Bob in town? Yeah. And we haven't had a minute's peace since we hit this valley. You know, I'm mighty glad Bob is back. Well, I ain't. out again. Like that, huh? I hear you can use a couple of deputies. Say, I sure can. If you mean me, I ain't getting behind no badge. Too good a target. He's got targets on the brain. You can keep your badge in your pocket. We'll get sworn in, Cal. I'll swear, all right, if that's all you want. Try for a jailbreak. Let me, Sheriff. Give me your key. But uh, no time to argue. Get under cover. And when they break through, we'll have them trapped. I ain't going to do it. It's again my principles to be putting people in jail. You've got to do it. Boys, go ahead. I'll cover you from here. The door is unlocked. Just ought to stop Alan, but he'll be wild. He's wild already. What happened to that other fellow who was with him? He rode away. 
Probably on his way to Allen's with the news. This ought to start something. What do you mean, start? Come on, Sheriff, this calls for a powwow. So I let one man get away and trail him to the ranch. He didn't report to Allen, but to Barton, that Easterner. What does that look like? Like Barton was up to something. What does anyone want this valley for except for raising cattle? For sheep, for water rights. Why well, even heard over at the county seat there was some talk of a railroad coming through? That's it, investment property. I heard Alan say the trouble didn't start till after Barton got here. I'll bet he's paying men on both sides to make trouble, run off the rest of these ranchers so he can buy up their land cheap. I reckon that's it. It'll be hard to prove. I know it will, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have a showdown with Alan. Do I go? No. Good. Sheriff, what do you feed your deputies? Get those boys out of jail? No, and the six I took with me are in jail, too. The sheriff's got a new deputy. It's that fellow you said was Gray's son. Well, our boys over at Gray say the old man kicked him out. He's up to something crooked. He's dangerous, Dirk. If he's not stopped, he'll run our plans. Well, I'll stop him. Why? 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 Stick around. I want to talk to you. Right. We're going riding later? Oh, I can't go today, Madge. Uh, that business deal isn't shaping up as I hoped it would. Oh, it's always business. You never have time for me. I will have soon, lots of time. Oh, that is when that business deal is finished and I leave for the East. And I'm not going alone. What are you doing out here alone? Oh, I'm just out for a ride. I'll fix that. You ought to stay close to home with this range war going on. I'm not afraid. winged another of my men, did you? Just lucky I wasn't plugged. Hold on, Dad. He's hurt. He ain't hurt half as much as he's gonna be. Take that fella back to the ranch. This girl and her dad are horse traders. They have a small spread at the edge of your ranch. They're the ones who get the worst of a range war. You seem to be fighting everybody's battles around here. Dad, I want you to do something for me. Why should I? Hold all your men at the ranch for 24 hours. And give Alan a chance to wipe out what ain't protected? Not much. He won't. The jail's full of his men right now. What's your game? I can't tell you yet. But I'm going to ask Alan to hold the rest of his men, too. So if anything breaks, both he and you will be in the clear. Sounds like a lot of foolishness to me, but I won't have any men left if you keep on plugging them. So I'll do it. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. 
From now on, you stay at home till this range war is over. There's a lot smarter way to handle him than that. Mr. Allen, I want you to... You won't. You've got your nerve coming here after throwing my men in jail. You listen to me. I'm just beginning to realize what this trouble's all about. And I want you to help me clear it up. You're asking me for help after what you've done? Well, you double-crossing coyote, get out of here before I... The double-crossing's here on this ranch. Right under your nose. But you're too stubborn and blind to see it. I'm not believing any of your lies. You've got yourself a bad so you can play your father's game. That's all I know or care. Now get out. Dad! Dad! Get him in the house. Send for a doctor. I'll give the orders around here. Why don't you do it? Say, this has been fired lately. Not that lately. Well, that's still evidence. Not even a deputy can get away with murder. Well, that's the game, is it? Yeah. You want to play? Maybe. I heard him quarreling and tried to get here before he shot him. That's a lie. Wait a minute. You don't believe that, Madge. What else can I believe? Go get the sheriff. I'll take care of him. Want to sit down? You might have a long wait. Got a phone? What in the office on the wall, if you can get anyone to answer. Get your line? Yeah. I'll wait for a long distance call. Thanks. Say, Bob Granger shot Mr. Allen. We're holding him at the ranch. All right, I'll go with you right away. You know what you're talking about? Why, well, certain. We got him dead to rights. Uh, you may have him to rights, but he ain't dead yet. Why, it's a clear case. Young Gray had his gun in his hand when we came in and still smoking. What do you got to say, Bob? The evidence is against me, Sheriff, but I didn't do it. I'm sorry, but I'll have to hold you. Dirk left with the other boys for the jail yet? Yes. Bob, who really did shoot at? I don't know, but I've got a good idea. Well, I ought to go back and guard my prisoners. They won't be there. <laughs> oh, I expect not. as we thought, Sheriff. Empty. But don't forget, I'm supposed to be in there. Sure. Come on, Hap. We're going places. 
What are you afraid of? I knew there was something crooked about this. Bob Gray ain't arrested any more than I am. All the men are out of the bunkhouse. You fellas know anything about it? No, I don't know nothing about them. No, we don't. We'll rustle around and try and find them. Dirk, I see you've got all the boys lined up. Yep. Ready and wait. Now, with young Gray out of jail, we've got to work fast. And this is going to be the final cleanup. That young Gray is getting suspicious, and there's no knowing who else you'll tell. I'll take care of him. Well, do that. Have the boys hit the nesters first, and then the big ranches. Then they can scatter and meet across the state line. I'll be at the Allens if you need me. We won't need you. This is going to be easy. Fine. You know who those riders were? Seemed to be some of the same gang. We'll see you later. This is our busy day. I'm going to help him. You are not. I am too. It's just as safe as staying here. That's right. I reckon I'll go with you. Now, boys, and come with me. The range of war has broken out all over the county. No, I'll give him a word not to leave the ranch, and besides, he ain't got left anyhow.
Get the rest of them in. We'll finish this job first. you get for trying to fight a war all by yourself. In me, I was sent for help long ago. And why didn't you do it? Well, maybe I did. More shell? No. It won't be long now. I'm just about out. Here comes another bunch of them. Maybe it is. Wait. Hold your fire. Boys in the rank. You sent for him. Sure. He owed me the price of a long distance phone call. Take care of him, Sheriff.
Sheriff. Dirk there is the man who shot Allen. Hap was hiding at the ranch and saw him do it. That's a lie. Barton shot him. Here's the gun he shot him with. Why, you dirty squealer. That's all I wanted to know, Barton. All right, take him out, fellas. Bob? Why should Barton have started all of this trouble? I found these deeds and contracts on him, Sheriff. It was just as we thought. He wanted to run the ranchers out of this valley so he could buy up their land cheap, then sell it to the railroad at a big profit. Looks like this fellow made fools out of your dad and myself. Me too, Mr. Gray. Dad will be happy to know this trouble between you has been cleared up. Bob, I'm sorry I blamed you for the shooting of my dad. That's all right, Madge. For a while, I thought I wasn't going to be able to clear myself. Bob, the boys are waiting. Well, goodbye, folks. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> 